Hey guys, EBP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna be upgrading our SnapMaker A350 uh, to the latest in technology. We have several components that SnapMaker has just recently launched and that is coming to the market that's gonna take our SnapMaker and improve it in a lot of different ways. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you what my experience is. We're gonna go over all the parts that we're gonna be upgrading and this should help you decide if you should be upgrading your SnapMaker too. So let's get right to it. Now in my upgrade, I have a lot of different components. I have the brand new power supply, I also have the new rails, and I have the brand new 3D print head. But before we actually go into the features and why you'd wanna upgrade all these components, let's talk about what my setup is like. So first of all, I have the SnapMaker A350. Uh, so this is the larger of the SnapMakers, and I actually opted for the enclosure. The enclosure that I have really for me is absolutely spectacular and it's something that I would highly recommend for anyone that's considering a snap maker and is going to be using, um, I would say the CNC or the laser. I'm a big time laser user, so I love having that enclosure. Now the other thing that I have is the rotary tool and I use this a lot for a lot of engraving. So a lot, big laser, right? So do laser boards and then also what I do is laser engrave um, uh, bottles, right? So we do a lot of that as well. So we have the rotary tool for that. Uh, the other thing that we have right, and this is the trifecta of everything that I would recommend, is the air purifier. And that's because we do have our snap maker inside of our home and it's in a common space. And I wanna make sure that we have, um, you know, the best environment for our family. So we have the air purifier and we have it connected and you'll see my setup in a couple seconds. Now, what are we upgrading um, in, the, in the snap maker? Uh, first of all, the first thing we're upgrading is the power module. Why would you wanna upgrade the power module? Well, the new power module is super quiet. We're talking about, literally, you don't hear it. And, and we're gonna get close to it in a couple of seconds so you can see what I'm talking about. In addition to it being uh, super quiet, it does have a variable speed fan. Uh, and basically, because of the variable speed, what ends up happening is this is not operating at full power all the time. So you don't really have this like going on. It's, it's super duper quiet even while working. Now. The other thing that it has is a softer light. So this used to be annoying like crazy because it was super duper bright. It was so bright, so loud, that I actually had it mounted inside uh, with the enclosure to be able to get rid of kind of like the noise and the actual brightness. So this is the first thing that we're upgrading. The other thing that we're upgrading are the linear rails. So these rails right here, we've upgraded them all. And what this is gonna do for us is first of all, uh, the steppers themselves, and this is what controls the print head, it pr cr uh, well, controls the X axis and the Y axis. Um, this has been upgraded to be quiet, first of all, faster. Um, also, it's, in it's enclosed well, so you're not gonna have to worry too much about dust or anything like that getting in there. And it's just gonna give you a better uh, operating experience because of the speed as well as how quiet it is. So we went ahead and upgraded all these. Now, one of the things I just wanted to highlight, one of the things that I learned during my upgrade is that when you get the kit, as you do the upgrade, the rails are not all the same, right? So make sure you watch the labeling. Right, so the X and the Y are going to be the 20 millimeter rails, and the Z is going to be your eight millimeter rail. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like, right? So your Z is what goes up and down, right? So that's gonna be the 08, and you'll see that it's actually labeled on the actual rails themselves. They actually have the labels. And then the X and the Y, which is the one that goes on the bottom, and the one that goes across, that's gonna be your 20 millimeter. You have to put them in the right places. And you also can't mix them up. Um, that was something that I made a mistake and I had to take it apart two times to get this right because I, I overlooked that. So if you do that, you'll be set. Uh, the other thing that we have is a the brand new print module. So we went ahead and got the new print module and this has improved cooling. It also has improved uh, printing as well. It has a, a quick release hot end, which makes it super easy to maintain. Uh, it has an embedded, uh, the sensors have been improved and embedded uh, so that you have better uh, bed leveling. And I'll tell you, I set this thing up and it printed right away. And I actually changed the bed to be a magnetic uh, PEI plate that you'll see in a second. And this also has uh, filament run out, right? Uh, and you can print a variety of materials with this, uh, a lot of different materials. So I've seen improved speed and improved quality. So let's take a closer look at the SnapMaker so you can see my setup and you'll be able to see how it performs. 
Now, before going to the upgrade, I just wanted to share with you what my setup looks like in my Snapmaker. So as you can see here, I do have the Snapmaker enclosure, which is an accessory that I highly recommend that if you're going to be doing any kind of laser engraving, um, even 3D printing, it really does a really nice job of really keeping things quiet. And then also, as you think about any kind of uh, I would say fumes, this is gonna do a real nice job of containing it. And you can see that I have my, the laser there. Now, I went as far as the putting the actual power supply inside of the container as well. Uh, and that was because of the noise. And um, I don't know if you can pick up the noise. We're gonna be upgrading the new power supply. So this is gonna be much quieter, uh, but we put it in here because it was just so much white noise coming from it. Um, I also have the uh, actual stop switch, as you can see there. This has come in handy many times. Highly recommend it even if you're going to do CNCC or CNC or if you're going to be doing, for example, All right, guys, now the first thing I wanted to share with you is kind of like, what does my setup look like? So I do have the Snapmaker enclosure, which I highly recommend. Now, I recommend this for two reasons. First of all, it does a great job when it comes to noise containment. And then second, if you're going to be doing any kind of lasering, right? This is gonna do a great job when it comes to containing all those fumes with the additional accessory that we have in the back. I'll show you in a second. You notice that I am using the laser right there. And then I also have over here the power supply, which I put inside of the case because um, it's loud, right? But we're gonna be upgrading that as well. I do have the stop switch here. That stop switch is coming super handy. Uh, CNC and then also laser engraving. I can just come right here, hit this button. As soon as I hit it, it stops everything. So that, that's a great um, um, option there. Now, as we come over here to the side, what you'll notice is I do have the Snapmaker filtration system. And I'll tell you this, um, I love this thing. Uh, it has really simplified um, everything. I do have my old system um, in the back there, but I'm not using it. Uh, basically, what this is doing for us is it's really taking care of all the contaminants. I don't have it personally connected uh, to the outside. I do have a air quality meter in, uh, in our location here. And when I run things, we don't smell anything. Uh, we don't see any change in the air quality, at least based on the, uh, the meters that we have. And we really, really like this accessory. So this is something that I would definitely uh, recommend. And then what I've done is, because since this is uh, you know, running so much um, equipment on it, we do have this Husky, uh, this workbench right here. I like this too a lot because it also has a power supply. Um, on the side right there, so I'm able to plug things in. So this is kind of like our setup, right? So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be changing uh, the uh, linear rails, right? All these are gonna be changed out. So, uh, and then the power supply. So really this is gonna be a new snap maker because we're changing all, four, all of these, all five of these, we're changing the power supply. We're gonna be changing the print head as well. So we'll have the upgraded print head. And then ultimately when the laser one comes out, we'll have that as well. So let's go and disassemble and reassemble it. All right, so here's the new power supply, and you'll notice that it is glowing faintly, but it's not super bright. And I did change the audio source, so we're not going to have any processing in the audio so that you can hear how loud it sounds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay quiet for a second, and I'm going to bring in a sound meter so you can see the amount of noise that's being generated. That's pretty good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start up the print process. And again, I'm gonna give you a sense of how loud the linear rails are, and then we'll actually see a print. And, and we'll go over some of my print samples that I've already run on the print. Now you're gonna see what the full process is. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a print job, start it up. And now you may hear the fan is gonna pop up or the actual uh, air filter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power that off, the air purifier, so that that's not competing with the actual linear rails because I want you to hear that. Pretty awesome, right? That's real quiet. So now the printer is going to warm up the bed and it's going to start printing. What we'll do is we'll pause the recording uh, once it heats up. We'll go ahead and continue so you can hear what the experience is like. Now while the printer is warming up, I just want to highlight some of the prints that I ran off of with that uh, print head. And you can see, so this is a filament guide uh, for the enclosure because I do have my spool over there in the corner. 
So what I wanted to do is get something that I can mount it inside and look how clean and nice that is. I am using a different um, print sheet there. And you know, why not? What we did is we printed that infamous dragon. So you know, that articulating dragon that you guys see all over the internet, we printed him as well. So you can see him right here. And the first layer came out fantastic. You see how that bottom layer came out and no supports, right? So this was printed out uh, just, you know, as you see it right here, came out really, really nice. Now, the only thing that happened, and uh, this was kind of my fault, is uh, as I was coming in and checking this a lot, opening up and closing the actual enclosure, um, you know, I started noticing that uh, the temperature was changing and we're in Chicago, so things are a little bit cool. So when I open things up, if I don't have things well regulated, uh, what ends up happening is my prints pop off. So the print actually came off and then what ended up happening is only one of the horns came out nice. So the other one came off. But you can see that the overall quality of this print came out really nice uh, with the actual printer. Now you see the actual print is gonna start. Let me get a little bit closer so that we can see the actual noise. Okay, so that's what you can expect. And I wanna say that, I don't know if it's just me or I've noticed that the actual print speed is, it just feels faster. It just, it just, to me, it just seems like it's printing a lot faster. The quality is, is great. I have had to do no tweaking whatsoever. I have not modified Lubin whatsoever. I've been using all the stock settings, which I think is really important when you're looking at a printer. You want something that works out of the box. You want something that doesn't require tweaking to work. And that's definitely the case here with the Snapmaker. Now, can I make the prints better? Absolutely. Could I tweak a little bit more? Absolutely. Could I use something else? Absolutely. But I want something that just works out of the box. Uh, so it definitely does. Well, now this is what the print finally looks like. And check that out. First layer is fantastic. Could probably warm this up just a little bit. Probably this filament could have printed at a higher temperature um, based on what I see right here. But pretty happy with everything else. Not bad at all. So guys, that wraps up our review or at least um, my upgrade of my Snapmaker A350. Uh, do I recommend these upgrades? I'd say absolutely yes. This is change or it's like breathing new life into my Snapmaker. Something that I really enjoyed and I use every day. And now I even use it, I find even more because of how delightful it is to uh, print, uh, especially with the new print head and then how quiet it is to operate. So looking to upgrade your Snapmaker, go for it.